companies are very upset. Very, very upset. Um, because of Republican Senator Josh Hawley. There he is, Josh Hawley, Mr. Hawley. He proposed an interesting bill uh, this week, one that will potentially remove the immunity, um, which protects web platforms, um, such as Facebook, Twitter, and uh, most platforms. Uh, currently, they enjoy the fact they're not liable for user-posted material. The bill proposes, however, that this immunity would be removed, um, effectively turning platforms into publishers, uh, if they couldn't prove to the FTC that their content moderation and algorithms were politically neutral. Now, I, I don't see that this should be a problem, should it? This shouldn't be an issue. Politically neutral is what they tell us they all are anyway. But apparently Facebook and Twitter pointed to a statement uh, made by a trade group which said this would force platforms to make an impossible choice. But why? I, I, I didn't understand, so I looked into it. This new bill is called the Ending Support for Internet Censorship Act, which would mean companies would have to submit to auditors every two years to prove their algorithms and content removal practices were politically neutral. Um, now, the tech giants and the, and the organized, trade organizations there are arguing this would make moderation harder, as the companies would be open to lawsuits from users who believe they were being politically censored. Not going to lie, this, this, this lost me a little, because if you can prove that you're politically neutral, audited to be so, how could someone sue you for not being politically neutral? I mean, that doesn't make sense, does it? You could show them your certificate. No, mate, sorry, it's not your politics. It's you broke this rule, this rule, this rule. That's why you're gone. There you go. And there's already little things in there for, you know, extreme cases where it harms your platform. You can out anyway. Uh, but they also claim, the tech companies, that uh, it would mean that content would have to be moderated before it was posted rather than afterwards. Again, I, I, I don't really understand why. If you are politically neutral and audited to be so, why would you change your moderation practices to pre rather than post? I, I, I don't know why that would be the case. I'm, I'm finding this very... It's almost as if... They're taking the arguments against the, the you know the European bill and things like that and just pasting them onto this because I don't see why that would make any difference. Whether you you, you moderate before or after, if you're neutral, it, 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 it shouldn't shouldn't matter, should it? They're supposed to be politically neutral. Anyway. That's what Google tell us. That's what Facebook tell us. It's what the uh, the realm of tall Tyrion Lannister Twitter tell us. It's, it's what they claim. Now, um, this is from the Internet Association. I am not a member. He says, this bill forces platforms to make an impossible choice. Either host reprehensible but First Amendment protected speech or lose legal protections that allow them to moderate illegal content like human trafficking and violent extremism. This was said by Michael Beckerman, President and CEO of the Internet Association. He said that shouldn't be a trade-off. If it if it's in America and it's protected speech, why would you want to remove it? Why are you saying that that somehow parallels um, illegal content like human trafficking and violent extremism, which are illegal anyway? They're illegal. You're allowed to remove them. You, you can't have them. It doesn't mean because you've got to allow someone going. I really like Donald Trump and I don't like Hillary and I'm a conservative. That doesn't mean the next video has got to be. Do you like children? We'll fetch you some of the finest Eastern European children you've ever had. Guaranteed clean and crying. No, it doesn't mean that. This is a bullshit statement. If they're looking for reasons to remove content that's reprehensible but protected, you have rules. Those rules should be politically neutral. So what reprehensible content? You can say, like, Lively has a no racial slurs rule. That's not political. So you could have that. But what is so reprehensible that's political? Well, we might get a bit more of an insight. Uh, this is from NetChoice, which is a trade association whose members include Facebook, Twitter, and Alphabet or Google. 
This bill prevents social media websites from removing dangerous and hateful content, since that could make them liable for lawsuits over every user's posting, said Carl Sasbo, general counsel at NetChoice. Senator Hawley's bill creates an internet where content from the KKK would display alongside our family photos and cat videos. Why? Why? Why is it political to separate adult content, which the KKK is for fucking grown-ups, from cat videos? Why would it be politically sensitive to have algorithms that sort videos into what you're watching? What kind of fucked up algorithm would put KKK next to a cat video anyway? It's bullshit. More bullshit, bullshit histrionic arguments. Hyperbole is bollocks. Absolute shite. That is not political. If you say our algorithm separates the uh, white supremacist videos that aren't advocating violence towards people because that is illegal and you can remove them anyway, you can have rules. But no one's going to say, how dare you not put my white supremacist video next to those my fucking 100 favorite Disney clips videos. You're politically censoring me. No, you, you, you're not. And you, that would be bullshit. Would be bullshit. The Computer and Communications Industry Association, gosh, these sound like wonderful things, had this to say. At a time when white nationalists are stealthily seeding calls in the mainstream press for viewpoint neutrality, it's troubling that the senator would contemplate legislation forcing online services to carry these views. American businesses shouldn't be forced to be neutral towards racism and extremism. They don't have to be. Racism isn't political. You could have rules against racism. For example, uh, I'm not even, I don't remember his name now. Rather famous Twitter user, I think he converted to Islam now. He talks a lot about Islam, but uh, he was saying, well, if all the, uh, if uh, AOC, oh no, Ilan Omar, that's it, it was about Ilan Omar. If her followers are all racists, where are the white supremacists in this video? Hate to break it to the comp. Why would the white supremacist follow Ilan Omar just because she doesn't like Jews? Her not liking Jews would not make a white supremacist like her. White supremacists are not naturally given towards liking people of colour. They just don't. Because they're mental. Are you going to tell me there's no racism on the left? No anti-Semitism on the left? Are you going to tell me it's a political thing? That we on white supremacy is the only problem with racism that we have? Also, if someone does have that opinion, I think my race is superior. So, let them speak. What does it matter? As long as they're not spending the entire video saying, you know, like, uh, you're inferior, burn those people, kill these people. What does it matter? It's just a view. It's just a point of view. It can be argued. It can be torn apart. It can be discussed. And we know this isn't what's happening on social media. This, this weird cleansing of conservatives. And yet there's hate and fucking racism left everywhere throughout these platforms. From the, the, the terrible, violent, fascists, anti-Semites on the left to the white supremacists over that side to, the, to, to fucking Muslim extremists that preach the worst kind of hate on these platforms. Louis Farrakhan was like the token fucking ban to show, look, we're getting everybody, yeah? One guy. It's bullshit. So, you know, if you want to be a platform, if you want to be a platform, have sensible rules that all sides must follow that don't penalise any particular political leaning. Being a racist isn't a political leaning. Have those rules and use them. You can't censor on political viewpoints. And that's what these are saying. And everyone here is jumping to these massive extremes that we do see both sides doing. But massive extremes of, well, you'll have the Ku Klux Klan next to fucking kids' videos. The most extreme thing you can think of. I used to believe that we have to leave these platforms alone, and it's a platform's right to choose whatever the fuck they do, and it's none of your business. But when you're as big as Facebook and Twitter, when you have that reach and that power, and YouTube, 
demonetization has gone again, Graham. When you have that reach and that power and that ability to change the opinions of people by how you just tweak one algorithm. I'm sorry. Proven yourselves time and time again to be irresponsible. To be acting improperly. And I think the time has come that there is going to be legislation. Now, this won't be a cure-all like we spoke on the phone. Who, who does the auditing? Has yeah, it going to yeah, be done? Yeah. I, and my suggestion would be, well, I imagine they take a sample, analyse the sample, and extrapolate those figures out to assume that's how that platform is. It's not perfect, but it's, it's a start because some it's got to be done. There's too much reach and power in the hands of too few, which is a curiously socialist way of looking at things. Um, but there really is, and we can't have it anymore. We, we can't have these massive platforms crushing a political voice because I'm not looking to defend white supremacists or the extremists on the left. That's not what I'm trying to do here. But, you know, if you're going to defend the liberal voice, if you're going to defend the conservative voice, and you're going to say we've got to be fair, you're going to hear some bad shit as well. Here's the good thing. It probably won't hurt you that badly to hear things you don't like. You might get better from it. Can still have rules. Just be neutral in their application. And don't, isn't that what Facebook and YouTube and Twitter tell us they are anyway? So why does this hurt? Why don't they want to do this? I think it's because they're going to find themselves cast as publishers before too long. And that's when this shit's really going to hit the fan. Because they're not going to like that at all. It's going to be one to watch this, guys. It's going to be one to watch.